Don't you have any manners? What is the meaning of this? Who the hell do you think you are? I don't understand, ma'am. Of course you will not, because you're useless and classless. What have I done? What have you not done? Who do you think you are? Walking here and talking to me like that without any respect. Are you new here? Yes, ma'am. Of course you are. When in case you don't know, my uncle owns this restaurant and I get treated like the VIP that I am. He cannot treat me like I'm an irregular. Where is your manager? You see this job? I can see that you don't cherish it because you're going to lose it. I will make sure he fires you. I, I am very sorry. I am very, very Shut sorry. Shut up! This job means a lot to me. Are I you still talking? It. Get me your manager. You're leaving this place. I don't want to see your ugly face ever again. Leave here this minute. I'm leaving this place. What a fool. I am not regular. I am VIP. Excuse me. Can't you caution your woman? What kind of a man are you? The kind that tells a nosy person to go back to their seat and mind their business. Wow. If showing concern is being nosy, then you must be very silly. You do not treat people like that. They're humans too. And you? You wanted her to do what? Worship you? Yes, that would have been nice. And who the hell are you? What makes you think you can speak to my fiancé and I? Oh, I see. You guys are engaged to be married. You deserve each other. I'm not going to smack that you're smart, but are you crazy? Please. please. How? Sit. Ignore her. She's relevant. Please. Listen, what? look at me. Ignore. She's relevant. Can you imagine that? You should have allowed me to deal with her. She's trying to try to cause a scene. Let's not give it to her. Talking to me now because of that low life? Really? Who the hell do you think you are? In my, in my uncle's restaurant? I'm calling him right away. He must fire her. How dare you? And I don't want to see your face in my uncle's restaurant. Like, fight again. Don't come here. You're prohibited. And then, and then this, this pig? Oh my God. sent me a goodbye message, a date to our wedding. Who does that? A man who doesn't have common sense. A man who is not worth your tears. A man that will regret ever breaking up with you over the telephone. After everything that I did for him, he left me. Two hours ago. Oh, uh, sorry. I, I, I'm surprised. I, I... <laughs> surprised? Yeah. Baby, I am your fiance now. I don't need to inform you before spending time with you. Besides, I'm on leave. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm just surprised. I, I, I didn't know you were coming. Sorry. Uh, babe. Yeah. What is it? Are you having doubts about me? No, 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 no. Never. Never, never. I'm, I'm not. I'm... Are you okay? Never mind. I'm, I'm okay. There's something off about you. You don't look happy and lively. Baby, I am happy and I am fine. Are you sure? I promise. <laughs> okay. Ah, babe. Yeah? Your cook and your housekeeper are driving me crazy. I can't keep complaining about them each time I come visiting. So what did they do this time? I told the cook to make chicken salad, babe. Just 
chicken salad and she couldn't. I haven't eaten. And that, that smelling housekeeper, she doesn't do as I say. I am tired of the disrespect. Okay. Maybe it's fine. It's, it's okay. I will, I will go up to them and talk to them and sort it out. Well, where, where are they right now? The cook has sent her to the market. But that, that good is up there cleaning the room. Okay. Then we will go to the room together and sort it out. And then you will talk to her. Yes, I will talk to her. Good. Thank you. Hey! What is that? Did I send you over Sabi? Taking my man's bag. Are you okay? Are you done with what I told you to do? Yes, yes, ma'am. Babe. I'm not going to say anything. This is the last time you will disrespect my woman. Do you understand? I never disrespected her, sir. No, I never disrespected her. Won't you get out of this place before I pounce on you? Sorry, sorry, yes, sir. Don't you, don't you ever talk back at me. Oh, sorry. Okay, get out of this place. Stupid girl. Shh. Babe, I told you. You're too soft on this, your staff. Very soon, they'll start suspecting you. You have to be hard on them. I mean, just look at what happened. If they can suspect me, they can suspect you too. I will. I will. Are you sure you're really okay? Yes, I'm... I'm only tired. <sighs> okay, just freshen up, okay? I'll just go down and make sure your food is ready. Okay. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Yes, by the way, I was told that the chicken salad you made was so bad that she couldn't eat it. Why is that? What? Are you deaf or dumb? He's asking you a question. Sir, she finished it. I, I thought you said you couldn't eat it. I, I did not. How dare you lie against me? Did I not complain that the salad was too dry? Yes, ma, you did. But but you finished it. How, hey, Hilda, how, Hilda, how stop! How, how dare Hilda. you come back at me? Please, don't touch her. Did you just lock it in my hand and not touch your face? I would have redesigned this your ugly face. I'm talking, you're talking back at me. Lazy fool. Goat. You're fired. You can stay here for tonight, or first thing tomorrow morning, I want you out of this place. Sorry, I'm very sorry, sir. I promise you to not repeat this again. Please, I'm sorry. Please, please, sir. I'm very sorry, sir. sir. There's no need for you to. Please. please, stop begging. I've made my decision. I will pay you for your services, but you have to leave this house tomorrow. Please, please, sir. Ma madam, please, sir. Who is your madam? Why are you so stubborn? He said you're fired. She should even be thanking God that he's willing to pay you since you're just in the first week of the month. If you were me, if I was the one in your shoes, I swear to God you will not leave this place with a dime. Please, Mama. Oh God, please. What are you still doing here? Stop calling me, man. Now. Get out, 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 out. I've had enough of you. Get out. Leave this house, stupid fool. Goat. Hmm. Smelling fool. Ah, oh, one down. I'm finally breathed. Gosh. Who is your madam? Well, bish. Babe, you did the right thing. The other goat will learn from this and start doing the right thing in this house. Stupid. Babe? Babe? Yeah? Uh, have you been listening to me? Yes. Can we eat now? Sure. <laughs> Can you see this now? 
Now, where is the damn cutlery? Where is she? If you're giving her a damn, she must finish her job. Fool! God, will you bring that cutlery? You think you're leaving this house without doing your job? If you don't bring it, you're not getting a dime. Hurry up! Drop it. You're fired. Now, out! Gosh. I was wondering where you went to. Huh. Baby, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. No, you're not. Something is obviously bothering you. What is it? Baby, nothing. Don't tell me it's about that thing you sucked earlier. No, no, no. First thing tomorrow morning, she's leaving this house. Good. Then what is it? What is keeping you awake? I demand to know. I think it's high time you're moving with me. You want me to move in with you? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't understand. I suggested I move in with you months ago and you said no. You said it has to be after the wedding, so... I, I don't know what I was thinking then. I guess I wasn't thinking right. <laughs> Maybe you were thinking left. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I need you to be close to me more than ever right now. I need you. Okay. What about our wedding date? Are we fixing it now or we'll wait for our parents to come back to Nigeria? Yeah, we have to wait till my parents come back. I'm their only son and it's very important to them. But I promise the moment they come back, we are going to see them. And we'll fix the date, just you and I. And no one will change it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, what if I want to make a few changes in the house? Maybe get rid of your staff. What if I don't like them? Maybe do anything you want. You can okay. slap them all. Anything you want to do. You're mine. Okay? And whatever is mine is yours. <laughs> Fine then. I'll move with you. I begged him, but he refused. He nearly cheated me out. Chai, I'm very sorry. Our boat just changed overnight. And Madame Hilda is not even helping things at all. This is what she has always wanted, to chase us away. Maybe I should start preparing to pack my bus too. Why? Overheard her this morning on the phone. She was telling somebody that her fiancé has ordered her to move in with him. Are you serious? Yes, yeah, so I'm finished. This house will be hell on earth, living under the same roof with that woman. <laughs> it is well. I just hope I get another job like this one somewhere else. Were you even paid? Yes. He added to my salary. There's something off about our boss. I really hope it's okay. I hope it's okay too. But then, if they sack me today, I won't even beg. <laughs> Just take good care of yourself. I need to go now. I don't want them to know that I'm still here. Especially that Madam Hilda. Yeah, yeah. I will miss you. I will miss you too. <laughs> <laughs> okay now. Bye bye, right, yeah. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Take care, yeah. Okay, bye. -bye. bye. This girl has not eaten her food. 
She needs to eat. She needs to eat too. Mommy, he sent me a goodbye message. A date to a wedding. Who does that? A man who doesn't have common sense. A man who is not worth your tears. A man that will regret ever breaking up with you over the telephone. After everything that I did for him, he left me. How could he do that to me, mommy? I trusted him. Cheer up, my child. It's okay. I trusted him too. I thought he would make a wonderful son-in-law. But he disappointed me. He disappointed the entire family. Anyway, I want you to cheer up. Anyway, you still have Chief. You told me that he's still interested in marrying Mommy, I only do business with Chief. And I do not mix business with pleasure. Moreover, he's old enough to be my father. But he will take care of you. Mommy, you can go ahead and marry him. Ah, uh, me, marry chief. Habba, it hasn't got into that now. Hmm. Taking your call has been ringing. Yeah, it's not important. Okay. It's ringing again. Babe, I, I said it's not important, okay? Uh, but it's your doctor calling. I know. So why not begin his calls? Because he wants me to give him some money. I don't have, okay? I don't want to lend him any money. What? Yeah, that's why it's not important. How shameless can he be calling you, asking you for money? Just tell him you don't have. It's as simple as one, two, three. No, I don't have to call him. When he's done, he'll be tired. And it's lucky I don't know him yet. I would have given him the peace of my mind. How dare he call my man asking for money? The money is for me alone. Okay? We're not giving. Okay, okay, okay. Take it easy. <laughs> By the way, I'm enjoying the movie. I told you it's interesting. It is. Hey, here you go. And Thank I brought you. your peanuts. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> wow. So, my dear, just feel comfortable and relax. Beauty will soon be back. Well, it's not a problem, ma'am. I'm a gentleman and I know what I want, so I'll wait for as long as it takes. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I was supposed to see your mom, my friend, yesterday. Oh. But I couldn't meet up. I hope she's not angry with me. <laughs> well, I'm sure she's not. Uh, I believe she understands you're a very busy person, so. <sighs> Glad to hear that. I'm so happy to hear that. <sighs> Aha! <laughs> I told you she wouldn't be long. Here she is. <laughs> wow. Good evening, ma. Good evening, my darling daughter. Come, what is this? Ah, Fidelis is here to see you. Hello, beautiful. How are you doing? I'm good. Beauty. Beauty, come back here. Mom, I'll be in the room. I'm tired. Okay, Chukwasini, come back here. Mom, I'm really not happy. I'm, I'm, I'm not happy with the way she treats me. For goodness sakes, I am every woman's dream man. If it's money, I have it in excess. I have a good job. I have a house. I mean, Mom, I am an eligible bachelor. It's all right, my son. Calm down. She'll come around very soon. Okay? Listen, there is something I want to tell you. 
we women, even when we're interested, we act like we're not interested. She will come around very soon. Yeah, she's my daughter. I know what I'm telling you. But, but Mama, do not have time. But of you are still young. Why the hurry? <sighs> Calm down. Beauty. Before your father died, both of us brought you up properly. We never thought you to be rude to anyone. I can beat my chest anywhere to say that you were properly brought up. We trained you well. Yes, mommy, you both did. But I know dad would never have supported what you're trying to do. I am not interested in your friend's son. Fidelis is a good man. He's a chartered accountant. Mommy, I don't care. Are you not tired of trying to match make me with him? Okay, first of all, what makes you think I even like him? I've seen him a couple of times and I do not see him that way. Give him a chance to get to know him better. Mommy, I don't want to get to know him better. And I actually think this should be the last time he comes here. Except I invite him personally. Biangwa, don't you want to get married? You don't want husband. Mommy, did I put a signboard on my forehead that I needed a husband? Beauty! Mommy! Hey! You are not getting any younger. I am only trying to help you. Mommy, the only way you can help me is to stop trying to match make me with your, with your friend's son. I'm still trying to heal from what Bayo did to me. So what do you want me to do now? What do you want me to do? Huh? What do I tell him? You said you don't want to see him again. So what do I tell the young man so he doesn't get upset? Tell me. Maybe you should give him food. He looks hungry. Look, look at. Look at what you are saying. Hey! Who did this to my daughter? Morning, sir. Morning. Any message? Um, yes, sir. Dr. Mark called earlier on that he has been trying to reach your direct line. What did you tell him? I informed him that you are not on seat. So he asked me to get back to him when you're around. Don't call back. Okay, sir. If he calls, tell him I'll call him back. Okay? okay sir. On second thoughts, if he calls to tell you I didn't call back, tell him I'm on a business trip abroad. Okay, sir. And you don't know when I'm coming back? Yes, sir. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Good. Hilda, I'm not happy with you at all. I'm not happy. How could you pack out of the house without my permission? See, I like Julian, but you're not married to him yet. I know, Dad, but it was my decision to move in with him before marriage. Then display all this, your bad attitude before him. Do you want him to change his mind? Dad. I know you very well, my daughter. You're my daughter, you know, and I love you. You don't know me, Daddy. Ah. Uh -huh. Hilda, I know you very well. You see, my greatest mistake was sending you abroad without supervision. And I've been trying to correct the bad attitude that you got from there. Yeah? And your mother did not even help matters. See the way she, she, she moved out of her matrimonial home and went abroad. Have you spoken with her? When was the last time you spoke with her? I can't remember. Did both of you fight again? Just a slight argument. Anyway, move back home. I'm advising you, I'm not trying to force you. I'm not coming back, Dad. If Julian decides not to marry you again tomorrow, I will not blame him. Because you are my daughter, I've been trying to take good care of you. Moving to his house after you have been married, not before. Eh? Does Julian actually know who you are? 
He knows me, Dad. He loves me. We love each other. Then change! Change so he can live with you for the rest of his life. Change, Ella, change. There's nothing to change about me, Daddy. I am perfect. Can't you see? Yeah, I can see. Suit yourself, baby. Mm. Calm down, Daddy. Can I go now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you can go. Good. <laughs> I want to go to the supermarket, then I'll see Julia right okay. after. Okay. Don't miss it too much, okay? No, I'll try not to. <laughs> <laughs> Take care of yourself, Daddy. All right, baby. All right, baby. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. Take care. You too, Daddy. Babe. Baby. You're back so early. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. I'm actually done for work today. Okay. I went to see my dad today. He wasn't pleased that I moved in with you, but I managed to convince him that it's my decision, not his. I can call him right now if you want. No, no, no. No need for that. But I want us to visit him soon. Okay. Okay. That's not a problem. Uh. Baby, I'm so hungry. Can I have an early dinner? Mm -hmm. Didn't you buy us food on your way back home? Baby, come on. I've been doing that all week since I sacked the cook. Besides, I told you this morning that I wanted home cooked meals. Yes, that skipped my mind. Okay, that's fine. I'll, I'll hire a new cook. I, I would appreciate that. Thank you. But I'm really hungry. I don't, I don't mind something. Something light. Uh, we can go to my favorite restaurant. Yeah, I'm tired. Very tired. I don't mind. I, I can drive us there. We can go there tomorrow. Okay, we can go there tomorrow. I mean, right now, I just want to get some rest. I'm famished. Anything, anything fast. It could be noodles. Uh, noodles. Baby. Uh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I, I will make something for you to eat. Just go up, freshen up, and come down. Maybe I shouldn't have fired the cook. You did the right thing. She shouldn't have disrespected you. Yeah, well, I hope so. Thank you very much. Baby. All right, you can just eat your peanuts while you wait, okay? All right, baby. Bye. I'll be back. <laughs> Why does he want to stress me? I should go to the kitchen and start cooking. No, I'm not in the mood for noodles. Just make it for him. I'm going to my favorite restaurant to eat. I'm not doing that noodles thing right here. It is ready. Ah, yes. Ah, yeah. oh, it looks delicious. Mm -hmm. Yes, I took my precious time to make it special for you. I can see that. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Don't you like it? Babe. Did you add salt? Why does it taste salty? I didn't add salt. I felt like the seasoning wasn't enough, so I added the spices I saw in the kitchen. You did what? Is it not nice? Is this your first time cooking noodles? Babe, you know I don't cook in my father's house. You know what? I can do this. I can eat this. We have to go to that restaurant. Better. Did you do this on purpose? How can you say that of me? I was only trying to please you. I at least appreciate my efforts. Next time I will not I will not add extra seasoning, okay? It's okay. I'm going to get dressed. Okay. Are you sure you don't want to just maybe eat the egg?
Where's this girl? Come and take this away. Where's this goat? You're welcome, sir. Welcome, ma. I am here to take your order. Are you stupid? Don't you have any manners? What is the meaning of this? Who the hell do you think you are? I don't understand, ma'am. Of course you will not, because you're useless and classless. What have I done? What have you not done? Who do you think you are? Walking here and talking to me like that without any respect. Are you new here? Yes, ma'am. Of course you are. When in case you don't know, my uncle owns this restaurant and I get treated like the VIP that I am. He cannot treat me like I'm an irregular. Where is your manager? You see this job? I can see that you don't cherish it because you're going to lose it. I will make sure he fires you. I, I am very sorry. I am very, very Shut sorry. Shut up! Please, this job means a lot to me. I are you still talking? It. Get me your manager. You're leaving this place. I don't want to see your ugly face ever again. Leave here this minute! Leave in this place. What a fool. I am not regular. I am VIP. Excuse me. Can't you caution your woman? What kind of man are you? The kind that tells a nosy person to go back to their seat and mind their business. Wow. If showing concern is being nosy, then you must be very silly. You do not treat people like that. They're humans too. And you? You wanted her to do what? Worship you? Yes, that would have been nice. And who the hell are you? What makes you think you can speak to my fiancé and I? <laughs> oh, I see. You guys are engaged to be married. You deserve each other. What the hell? I'm not going to smack that you're smart, but are you crazy? Please. please. How? Sit. Ignore her. She's relevant. Please. Listen, what? look at me. Ignore. She's relevant. Can you imagine that? You should have allowed me to deal with her. She's trying to, try to cause a scene. Let's not give it to her. Talking to me now because of that low life? Really? Who the hell do you think you are? In my, in my uncle's restaurant? I'm calling him right away. He must fire her. How dare you? And I don't want to see your face in my uncle's restaurant. Like, fight again. Don't come here. You're prohibited. And then, and then this, this pig? Oh my God! Who in God's name packed like this, eh? How am I supposed to drive out? What kind of rubbish is this, for goodness sake? Ma'am, is everything okay? Is um, there a problem? Are you the supervisor? Yes, ma'am. Someone blocked me, I don't know, I can't drive out. Oh, okay. Um, I'll get it sorted out. I know the owner of the vehicle, so I will inform them right now. All right? I'll be right back. Please, hurry. Okay. Why would someone park like this, for goodness sake? So I'm supposed to wait for who? Who, who I do? Oh, goodness. That's a big welcome. <laughs> Good afternoon, ma'am. What now? I need you to come repack your car. It's actually obstructing other customers from going out. Well, who is the customer, if I may ask? Uh, what's going on? Are they the owner of the car? Yes, ma'am, they are. Please, can you come move your car? I need to leave. I didn't know it was you I blocked. Well, now you know, so can we go outside? Sure. After you apologize. <laughs> apologize for what? For having the audacity to challenge my man and I. I am not moving an inch until you say sorry. Hello, can you just do the right thing and tell her to move the car so I can leave? Hello? Babe. Stop talking to my man. Talk to me. Babe. What? The car keys. What? Please. Give me the car keys. Do you 
a lucky man, he said. If I was alone, you would sleep here. Now, push, looks like you mind your business. I still maintain that you should have allowed me fight that woman. You would have caused the scene. Who cares? My uncle owns that restaurant. I had every right to behave the way I did. I should have fought her. So what would you have gained by fighting her? Why didn't you allow me to fight her? So you should have seen what I would have gained. Please take me away from this place. Hmm, mommy, if you had seen that couple and the madness they displayed there, I'm sure you would have been. Eh? Hmm. You don't need to tell me what I would have done. <laughs> <laughs> I would have flogged that madness out of her head. I mean, how could somebody be that rude? I trust you. I have never seen a couple with such bad vibes. I was so irritated eh? Ha, that bad? Because her uncle owns the place, she wanted the waitress to bow before her. Very arrogant lady. <sighs> you are telling me the man wants to marry her? Yes, so. She called him her fiance, and the man didn't even say anything about how she acted. <sighs> they fit each other. Honestly, they do. I don't even want to talk about them again. Talking about people who fit each other. Mm. Who do you fit? I have told you severally, give Fidelis a chance. Both of you fit each other. Even Chief is an option. Mom, Mom, please don't start. I was in a very good mood. Please don't spoil it. Okay, oh, Your Majesty. I'm sorry, you. Someone cannot even give you gist in peace. It's okay now. Huh? Very soon now you will leave this food here. Someone cannot give you gist in peace. I say it's okay now. I'm sorry now. Yeah. Oh. How can you act like that, Hilda? Or you think I will not get to hear it? I didn't do anything wrong. You didn't do anything wrong. And someone had to lose her job. Because she was disrespectful. How? By not treating you like Queen Elizabeth. Just because my brother gave you access to his restaurant does not mean you should be rude to his customers. Do not be insolent. Dad, why are you not on my side? Why do you hate me so much? You know you're my princess. And I love you so much. And this is my way of showing how much I care. And how did you even get to find out? Whoa, are you serious? This is my brother's restaurant we are talking about. Mm. So you now have an ally there. <laughs> Call it whatever you like, Hilda. Try to be nice to people. Don't be proud. Fine. I heard you. I want to go shopping. All I'm saying is, do not act like that before Julian. He's watching. He may not be saying anything now. Julian understands me, Dad. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. If you say so. <laughs> say so. Yeah. Bye, Daddy. I'm going now. Take care of yourself. Hmm? Have a nice time. Stop listening to gossips. Your baby girl is perfect. Okay, baby. Bye. Bye. Excuse me. Excuse you. What's the meaning of that? What? I took what I wanted. Are you blind? Didn't you say I was trying to get that? Do I look like I care? 
What are you going to do about it? Fight me? Oh, you. Mm -hmm. You, I remember you. What is wrong with you? You have an attitude problem. What is wrong with you? You have an attitude problem. What are you going to do about it? I'd let it slide. I'll just get another one. No, don't get another one. Come and fight me. Fight me. Look at this face very well. Anywhere you see this face, I will frustrate you <laughs> until you tender an apology. You're really unstable. Okay? Tell your man to take you to a psychiatric home because you clearly need help. Mm -hmm. Foolish thing. Mm -hmm. Please. Listen, I came here before her. I Please came here before her. She came before you. Thank you. How dare you speak to me like that? My friend, call your shut mother. your mouth! I came to me! Mama, she came before you. I came before her. She saw me and she ran here. You're, there's something wrong with you. You're, You're mad. mad. You're, You're crazy. crazy. You're crazy. You need help. You're the one who needs help. Go and seek for Go help. Go and seek for justice. Whatever. Idiot. Idiot. If you see. Hey, what are you going to do? Try it. I will beat you. Try it. Black and blue here. Ow. Of course, I know. <laughs> I've heard you. Anyways, thank you for calling. <laughs> no. All right. All right, thank you yourself, okay? Yeah, bye. Who is the man that is calling you? God. But which one is man again? Every time, man, man, man. Must it be a man that called me? Who is the man? Tell me, Joe. Give me the gist. I see the hot. gist, mommy? Ah, what is gist? Anyways, it was a woman that called me, my friend from Germany. Look at me thinking it was a man that called you. Eh? Beauty, let a man be calling you. Let a man be calling you, Biko. Here. Yeah. Here. Oh. Man, 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 man. We'll soon start eating man for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Every time, man. Now what? Hmm. Oh my god. Oh, this girl, eh? <laughs> Goat! Where is this goat? If I call you one more time. Goat! I'm here. Would you go and check who's at the door? Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon. Are you in camp? Yes, madam. Hey. You are fired. Hmm? Go to your room, pack your rags, and leave this house this minute. You are no longer needed here. No problem. Come here. Did you just say no problem? Are you stupid? So you cannot beg for your own job. You can't lie down. You are too big to lie down and beg me. What is that? If I beg, will you give me back my job? You are very stupid for that, for that stupid question. Will you get out of this place? Get lost. Don't give me. Stupid, lazy goats. Bye, with your smelling self. I hope you're not as lazy as she is. No, ma, I'm not lazy at all. Allow me to land. No, ma, I'm not lazy at all. It's not about saying that too. you will clean, you will wash, you will scrub, you will cook, you will run errands for my boy and I. Can you make her hassle? Yes, ma. I'm talking quality, thick, rich, or hassle. Not the one that the water will be by the side, and then the stockfish will be dancing makosa in the middle, and then the, the aura will be sprinkled in the middle. That's not <laughs> what I mean. No, ma. I can cook very well, ma. Who is laughing with you? What is so funny? Do I look like a comedian to you? No, ma. I'm sorry. Sorry for yourself. Behave yourself, or I will just sack you even before you start. You are not here to laugh. You are here to work. And go to the kitchen and. Take your time, make me something special. I want to know how your food is. Just follow this way. The kitchen is just by the left. Okay, ma'am. If you cook rubbish, you will be gone. Oh. I will sack you today, today. Tell me she's laughing. Where are you going with your bag? Good evening, sir. 
Mother Hilda sacked me, sir. She sacked you? Yes, sir. What did you do? I didn't do anything to her. Mother Hilda cannot sack you without you doing something. Get in the car. Sir, she has employed someone to do everything in the house. She employed one person to do everything in the house? Yes, sir. It's okay, get in the car. We'll sort it out when we get there. No need, sir. I'm very grateful, but I do not want the job. If it's because of Hilda, it's fine. I'll talk to her. I'll sort things out. It's not because of Madame Hilda. It's because of you. Because of me? How? At this point, I don't care if you don't pay me my money, but I'll speak my mind. You used to defend the cook and I whenever Madame Hilda complains about us without no reasons. You used to light up the house with your beautiful smile. But lately, you barely smile. The day you came back home and sacked the cook, we knew something was wrong. Sir, if anything is troubling you, if you can't share with me, sir, please, you can talk to someone else about it. I'll send money into your account. Make sure you don't drop out of school. All the best. visit my dad. We won't stay too long. Babe, you're not eating your food. Babe, what? Sorry, were you talking to me? Of course. What is wrong? What are you thinking about? Are you broke? No, I am not broke. What were you telling me? I said I want us to go and see my dad. No problem. Okay. But then, why are you not eating? Um, I had some peanuts, so I'm not hungry. I don't have the appetite. I think I'll go upstairs to my room. Shoes are so beautiful. <laughs> oh, yes. Wow. These are looking good. Thank you very much, Julian. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. Yeah. Dad, huh? you really know how to take care of yourself. Yes, yes. I do. <laughs> if I don't, who will? Hmm? Is it you that packed out of the house and went to live with Julian? Or is it your mother who traveled abroad? Dad, you don't have to say that in front of Julian. Ah, he knows already. Julian is a man. You will understand. Or oh, don't you? I, I, I understand, sir. <laughs> sir, um, I just want to apologize for not informing you before your daughter moved in this week. I'm, I'm sorry for that. Well, you don't have to apologize. She's an adult. She can reason for herself. <laughs> Take responsibility. Of course. <laughs> yes. So, the shoes are fantastic. Mm. I really like them. If you like them this much, you can use my daddy's vendor. Oh, I would love that. Oh, well, if that is the case, uh, uh, well, that would be fine, you know? Um, most of my friends, they buy from her. Ah. Uh, 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 maybe I will give you her card, okay? okay. Uh, if you purchase from her, if you want her, 
it to be delivered to you anywhere she will. Or you can visit her office. I will definitely remind you before we leave, sir. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, this is good. That is uh, really lovely. smart, smart <laughs> shoes. Fantastic. I love it. Not bad. I'm coming. Coming. Hey, beautiful. Fidelis, what are you doing here? My mom is not around. Oh, come on. I'm sure you know I've not come to see your mom. I've come to see you. Okay. I'm actually busy right now. <sighs> well, I'm sorry. I have to see you now. That can't happen. Can we quit the suspense already? You're home. And I'm here. Life is not so difficult. Let's just talk. I do not want to talk to you. Isn't it obvious that I'm not interested in you? Well, your mom said you're ready to settle down. Okay. You're single and so am I. I mean, let's just get married and make your mom happy. <laughs> make my mom happy? Yes, and mine too. <laughs> and what about me? What about my happiness? Listen, I deserve to be happy. And I am so sorry you're not the person to make me happy. Oh, please. Can you spare me the drama? Who the hell do you think you are? Blessed amongst women? Look, if you continue like this, you're going to remain single for the rest of your life. And that would not be the end of the world. Really? Now get out. And don't you ever come here again. Out. I see I've been wasting my time. You're not even a sight to behold. Rubbish. <laughs> Psychopath. Yeah, come in. Good day, sir. Yeah. Um, you have a package. All right, thanks. I should. Thank, Thank you. you. This is not the brand I asked for. And this is not the size I asked for either. And I'm off to lunch. I guess I have to call her first. Yes, hello? Hi, sir. Have you gotten your order? Yes, I did. But that is not the brand I asked for. And that's not the size either. I asked for size 45 and you gave me 42. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. I am so, so sorry. I'm really sorry about that. Um, I'm still in front of my store. I can get another one and bring to you personally. My dispatch rider is not available. Okay. Uh, that's good. But I'm heading for lunch now. Uh, where are you having lunch? Um, at Chicken Sensation. Okay. That's fine. Can I bring it there to you? Oh, I would really appreciate that. Okay, thank you. I'm really sorry, Sam. I'm so sorry. I'll be on my way. It's fine. Thank you very much. Yes, I'm inside. We have come to the lounge. You were the one who ordered the shoes? Yeah, I guess I am. I can't believe you're the vendor. Where are the shoes I delivered? Uh, 
I'll refund you. What? No. No, please, I, I need my shoes. Please. Did your fiancé tell you that she approached me at the supermarket and took the bottle of wine I wanted to get? So what is this? Payback for something I didn't do? Seriously. <laughs> you were there when she insulted a waitress and made her lose her job. I gave her my card and I hired her. You helped her? Yes, I did. If you can help someone, why not? Kindness doesn't cost a thing. Well, I help people too. Huh, you do? Yes. But... But what? Never mind, you won't understand. You know, I told your fiancé that she's unstable. I hope you've taken her to a psychiatric home. You told her that? Yes, I did. <laughs> Hmm. Mommy, guess who I saw today? Who did you see? Fidelis. Mommy. Who joins Fidelis again? <laughs> okay, who did you see? <laughs> Anyway, you know I told you Chief Prince will give my number to his future son-in-law to patronize me. Yes. You didn't supply the shoes today? I did though. But then there was a mix-up so I had to go myself to deliver the shoes to him. Lo and behold, he's the fiance to that lady from the restaurant. Uh, the arrogant lady? Yes. Me? <laughs> that means she is Chief's daughter. So I see her mom. Small world. <laughs> but Chief is a very nice man. How come the daughter is so arrogant and stupid? <laughs> I don't know. That's their family problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come. Uh, it then means that um, you cannot marry her father. <laughs> Mommy, I've never been interested in Chief. So that conversation ends here, right now. Mm -hmm. Anytime I bring Chief's mother, you will end the conversation. Mommy, don't call Chief's name again. If not, I will chase you out of my room. Okay, please, I'll not say anything. Try me, I see. I don't want to hear that name again. Okay. Let me breathe. I can see that that lady is insane. But you told me something else. Admit it, you lied. So you believe her over me? Did you lie or not? I did not lie. I can't believe you're taking her side. I'm not. I just want the truth. What truth? This is someone that almost refunded you your money. Can't you see she is bitter? If she was bitter, she wouldn't have given me the shoes in the first place. Oh, wow. So now you're taking her side instead of mine. I'm not taking any one side. Not even mine? Hey. You know what? Forget it. I'm exhausted. Me fight with my man. Really? So she has been the one supplying shoes to my dad. <laughs> no problem. I know exactly what to do. I will make sure she regrets ever meeting me. She has met with the wrong woman. I will deal with her. Peter, what did you just say? Dad, you don't expect me to repeat myself, do you? Uh, I actually expect you to repeat yourself. Oh, fine. I do not want to patronize in that vendor. I want you to tell your friends to stop as well. Why? Because of an argument? It was more than an argument. You, that moved out of my house without my permission, you are the one now telling me what to do? I don't like that woman. <laughs> I would have said that uh, I don't care whether you like her or not. But she's so one that I really like. <gasps> You like her? Yes, I like her, yes. What's that supposed to mean? I asked her for a relationship. You did not. 
But she said no. <sighs> Thank God. Yeah. Why would you do that? I asked for her hand in marriage. Dad! Mm -hmm. She did? But she said no. But the offer is still on the table. No, it is not. I will never allow that happen. I don't like that woman. You will never marry her. She is my enemy. And my enemy must be your enemy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Do you know who you are talking to? I, your father. <laughs> now, do you know I don't like no financer? Uh -huh. Does that mean you're not going to do what I asked you to do? Read my lips. Never. Dad! Hmm? <laughs> Dad, stop! <laughs> it's not funny. Okay, baby. You're picking that low life over your own child, your only daughter. Well? <laughs> I will surely deal with that. I will deal with that, you see. Are you sure your dad is serious about it? Yes. Anyways, you have nothing to worry about. That lady doesn't look like someone that would marry your dad anyways. No offense. What's that supposed to mean? Are you saying my dad is too old for her? I didn't say it like that. I don't mean it like that, okay? That lady is a gold digger. I know my dad says she declines, but I don't trust her. <sighs> Babe, let it go. And if I don't? Where's her business card? Why are you asking? Why do you want to know why I'm asking? I just want to know where her business card is. It should be somewhere on the dressing table. Good. I'll grab it tomorrow morning. Uh-uh. Is that good night? Good night to them. Uh-uh. Are you angry with me? Huh? Baby girl. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Baby. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm still going for the card tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Um, the dispatch rider will be here soon, so get everything that is supposed to go out for delivery. Don't mix them up. I won't mix them yes. up. No mistakes. I won't make a mistake. Give us a minute, please. Watch it. I can see that you hired the disrespectful waitress. Okay, so how is that any of your business? And if you're not here to get anything, just get out. I will leave when my business here is done. Stay away from my father. He told me about his intentions towards you. So that's why you're here? I'm being serious. Stay away from him. If you don't, I will make sure he stops patronizing you. I will tell his friends too to stop buying anything from you. <laughs> and if you tell them, what would happen? Huh? What do you take me for? I'm not joking. Okay. I think I'm the one that is not joking. Now listen to me. If you continue disrespecting me each time you see me, mm -hmm. I will not hesitate to accept your father's marriage proposal. And guess what? I'll be your stepmom. Stop that! Don't say that! You will do no such thing. I'll do no such thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, say something that will piss me off now. Say anything that will piss me off right now! Come on! I'm waiting for you! Say something! Just leave me alone! Who's holding you? My friend, would you get your stupid self out of this place? Get out of this place, my friend! Are you deaf? Get out! Hurry, the dispatch rider is almost here. <laughs> hey, are you serious? <sighs> you said that to her. Mommy, well, we don't trust me. I said it to her. <laughs> she had the girls to come to my store and harass me. Hey, hey. I even lied to her. <laughs> <laughs> you just showed her that you are Sarah's daughter. You know. <laughs> and she know. believed you, right? Mommy, this year, if you are saying her face. Oh my God, she, she was, was so shaking. Scared. But I was praying in my mind that she just believed me like that. <laughs> and she did. Do you know what? Oh God. I'm even thinking that it would make some sense mm. if you become her stepmother so that you can teach her not just one lesson, but lessons. 
smile now. I'm just joking with you. Yeah, stop that. No, stop, stop that rough play. If it's if it's play, please stop it. Stop As my chief's it. wife, like not the chief's wife. Holy Ghost, I reject it. I reject the title. It's not my portion. For me, I beg, I beg, I beg. I don't like that kind of play. Chief stop has money. You. Stop, stop this part. You taught me that one. I beg. Okay, okay, okay. I beg. <laughs> Mm. You actually came. Please, please sit down. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. Um, uh, what, can, what will you take? Uh, you can order anything you want. I mean, I'll, I'll pay for it. I'll order. Uh, waiter! Uh, there, there's no need for that, sir. Why? I'm actually in a hurry to go home, sir. Sir! Sir! Haven't I told you a million times not to address me as sir? Well, I have to address you as sir out of the respect I have for you. Well, that's, that's okay with you. Ah. Beautiful one. Please marry me now. Listen, I will give you whatsoever you need. You need anything. I mean, whatever you need, I will give it to you. I will provide for I will treat you like a queen. Please. I'm really sorry, sir. That's why I came here. I can't marry you. I really hope you find someone who would love you genuinely, but I can't marry you. I'm sorry. So there is nothing and do or say to make you change your mind? Nothing. I'm sorry. I I have to go. Please take care of yourself. It's okay. So what transpired between you and that girl? The lady? Oh, transpired? Yeah, I presume you went to go and see her. How, how did you know? Because I know you. Hilda, I know you. You asked for her business card and her address is there. So I know you went to see her, right? Yes. So what happened? Mm, nothing much. I just gave her the peace of my mind and I warned her to stay away from my dad. Also, I told her to apologize if she wants me to leave her alone. And did she apologize? Of course she did. <laughs> are you serious? What's that? What's are you serious? I'm telling you she apologized and you're asking irrelevant questions. Of course she did. How, well, she doesn't look like someone that would apologize. So, are you saying you know her more than I do now? And are you calling me a liar? I'm not calling you a liar, okay? I'm just, no. never, never mind. Whatever, I'm sick of here anyway. I want to go up and use a laptop. For what, why? Research. <coughs> Goat, clean that up. My friend, will you get out of here? Sorry. Get out of my sight! Hilda, what's the meaning of this? What's the meaning of this? What? I saw what you were researching on my browser. Oh. About that, I was going to have a conversation with talk, you about it. Talk, talk. 
talk about what? Have a conversation about liposuction. Yes, I'm considering doing it. I'm going to. No, we need to have a conversation about this. I just told you, you, you. You, you, you. You're joking. This is April Fool, right? <laughs> Baby, we're not even in April. And why would I joke to something like this? Have you seen my friend's butt? Oh, my God. I'm sure you have noticed how big it is. And anytime I'm around her, I, I feel intimidated. I know hers is natural, but mine can get bigger because I have the money to Baby, I like you like this. I like you like this. Like? You know what I mean. I love you this way. Don't worry. By the time I get it done, you'll love me even more. Hmm? How come you're making plans about having a bigger butt, but you never made plans about having a child for me? Child? Yes. To get pregnant for me. We've never talked about it. How many children do you want? I, I, I don't know. We never talked about well, it. Well, we need to talk about it now. How many kids do you want? When are you going to get pregnant for me? I don't know. Maybe when we get married, I will take my precious time before getting pregnant. For now, I just want to get my body done. We can have kids much later, maybe 10 years after marriage. I don't know. I, I don't want to alter my body. I just want to get my body done. That's it. <sighs> Chill. I thought you'd be happy. I don't want to alter my body. Uh, uh, babe! Babe! Uh, what I mean will be happy because, I mean, you're going to start enjoying a bigger butt, but not my man. Getting it done and that's final. Somewhere in between heaven and hell. Somewhere in between pleasure and pain. Somewhere in between darkness and light lies the answer to all of my questions. I've taken every road. Wildest journey I've ever made. Yeah. In all of my searching, a Hello? million roads. No, 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 please don't, 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 don't cut the call. Don't cut the call. Please don't hang up. Just hear me out. I. I want to see, I want to talk to you. It's urgent. It's, um. Just, just. I'm begging in the name of God. Just give me a few minutes of your time. I really want to talk to you, okay? Is, is there where I can see you today? Somewhere in between, hope and despair. I was lost okay. and I can find my way. And I knew you'd take a miracle to pull me up. And you came just in time to free my mind. All the pain that I was in. It's you, are you? guess who just called me? Please do not say Fidelis. Who then? I have no idea. <sighs> Mr. Julian, Chief's future son in law. Really? What does he want? I don't know. He said he wants to see me. He sounded really urgent. What did you think I should call? Um. Yeah, I think you should go, as long as it's not in his private place. Oh no, it's going to be in a restaurant. Right, you go and see him, yeah. you can call him. Okay. Let me dress up. Okay. Hello? Yeah, I'm I'm coming right away. <laughs> Actually, I'm so sorry. I, I'm so sorry for my behavior the last time. I should have I should have interfered and Caution, fiance. I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, is that why you asked me out? No, 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 no. That's it's for a completely different reason. Okay. <clears throat> I know we don't know each other, but this conversation is very important to me. I want to have a child. Okay, that's a beautiful thing. Yes. But what does that, what does it have to do with me? 
You're a good woman. You are. Your name is Beauty. And it's not just about your looks. You also have a beautiful heart. Okay. Thanks for the compliment. No, it's the truth. I've watched you. You care about people. Mr. Julian, what is going Please. on? Please, call me Julian. Okay. Julian, <laughs> what is going on? I, uh, I want to have a child from a good woman. I want the child to be raised from a good home and to have good home training. Even if I'm not going to be there to play my fatherly, my fatherly roles, and I still want the best for the child. I thought about it, and I want you to be the mother of my child. Now, don't you ever in your life speak to me again. Okay, okay, okay. I'm so sorry. I think that came out wrong. Wait, wait, just wait. Listen, listen, please. Listen before you jump to conclusions. Go to hell. Let me, let me explain, please. It doesn't involve sex if that's what you're thinking about. Gosh, no wonder I don't like you. Listen, listen, Agnes, wait. Wait. I don't like this, your complaint. It's getting out of hand. It's getting out of hand. In my, every time you're complaining about your husband, let that man rest. Is it not this same man that I know? Huh? Agnes, you're my younger sister, and I know you very well. You too, you have wahala in your body. Let that man rest. Eh? Who is knocking? Hold on, hold on. I will call you back. Hold on. Hold uh on. -uh. Hold on. Stay with your husband. You will not stay. I'm gonna... Oh, ne. you are back so soon. Yeah. So soon? Huh? What did you discuss with him? Nothing. Going to my room. Beauty, come back. What, what do you mean nothing? See, I know you, this girl. I know you. Whenever you say nothing, there is something. It means there is something. Come, let us talk. Mommy, there is nothing to talk about. Come back here. We have a lot to talk about. This girl and stubbornness now five and six. I don't know why. Come, I have something to tell you. Nah, eh, Agnes. Somewhere in between heaven and hell. Somewhere in between pleasure and pain. Somewhere in between darkness and light. Like the What are you doing? I thought I told you not to ever talk to me again. Beauty, but please just hear me out. Please. Listen, I am not interested in being the mother of your child. It's not about... I have a medical condition. I don't have much time. The time is short. Oh, you look I'm dying. Someone to share my world with. Liver cancer. Jesus Christ. Does your fiance know? I don't even know what to say. Say yes. Yes to what? Say yes to be the mother of my child. I want to have a child with artificial insemination. And I want to give everything I have. 60% goes to the child, 40% goes to the mother. Why me? Because you're a good woman. 
and I know. What about your fiancé? She's not ready to have a child yet. Oh. I made a mistake. I fired my cook and my house help. I was so mad at myself when I got the result. I felt like the world had turned their back against me. So I didn't care about anyone or anything. Now you care? I had a conversation with Hilda. It made me think about my life. Like, who do I give everything to when I die? What about fighting for your life? Didn't the doctor talk about treatment, chemotherapy? I, I don't want to do all of that. I've accepted my fate. You can't just give up like that. Why are you smiling? Here. You barely know me. And you don't want me to give up. You care about people. That's good. Well, I don't like you does not mean I want you dead. Well, you don't like me. But will you be the mother of my child? No. No, I can't accept it. You need to talk to your fiance. Tell her about your health. Maybe she'll consider having a baby for you. Okay. I'll tell her. The joy that I found Someone to share my world with Be careful Babe, what are you doing? What are you You're doing? sick, are you also blind? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm leaving you, I can't continue with this relationship anymore And you've been sick and you cannot even tell me about it. You want me to love a sick man? Never! You are wicked, Julian. You told me you have lung cancer. You are dying. And you didn't tell me! Stop! Stop it! Stop it! You can't talk, talk to me like that. Okay, stop it! It's me. Are you not dying? Say it! Are you not I dying? I didn't know. You knew I you didn't know before I... Engaged you. Very I, didn't know. I just found out. Yes, Julian. You knew that your time on earth is short. And you went ahead and asked for my hand in marriage. Who does that? I should be I should, I should, I should be married to a dying man. Is that what you want? God forbid. I can see that my village people have sent you. Tell them you have not seen me. Oh. Just tell them. Yo, I need you in my life. I need you. I'll give you everything. Please. Please, I need you. At what Don't expense? Go. Don't go. You want to make me a young widow? God forbid, I will not do it. I will not be with a dying man. Go ahead and die alone. I will not be with you, okay? Yes. I don't, I'm not interested. Yoda, it's me you're talking to. It's me, it's Julian. Hmm. I thought you said you love me. I cannot love a dying man. Dead man walking with me and Julian. Somebody will think that you're healthy. You're a dying man. I cannot be with you. Peace. Okay? Stay here and die alone. Just excuse me. Just remove yourself from the way. I don't want to touch you. I know that you're looking for somebody to kill you because you are this close to death. I will not kill you. I will not touch you. Just die alone. No wonder. You have been such an understanding boyfriend, understanding fiance, condoning all my nonsense because you know you are dying. Wow! Wow! Simply wow! Where is this girl? Funke? Come and take my box! So you are dying, you are pretending. Wow! No wonder you have been taking all my nonsense because you know you will die soon. I beg!
I'm really sorry about Hilda. I really thought she would have a change of mind and stand by me. So, what are you going to do now? I guess I have to find another woman to have a child for me. You can still consider treatment. You can't just give up easily. What's the point? Listen, I just want to have a child. Okay? You can fight it. Tom. There's no point. Listen, <sighs> cancer kills. It's life-threatening. Yes, you have a child, but you need to put yourself first. As I said, there's no point. Okay, just... <sighs> Don't even know what to say anymore. Come over to my house. Spend some time with me. I'm usually alone in that house. Keep me company, even if you don't want to be the mother of my child. Just keep me company. I hardly cook, but I can make something nice. I thought you wanted to reach out to your former chef and housekeeper. Too. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for reminding me. I need to call him. If they decide to get their job back, would you consider coming? I... I'll think about it. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <sighs> Dad! It is after you your life that you're calling upon the name of the Lord. Oh, you scared me. I didn't know you used to be awake. Mm. This is my house, remember? And I'm free to be awake any time that I please. So, where are you coming from by this time of the day? Out. Out from where? Dad, uh, did you realize I'm an adult, right? Oh, you're an adult. But you're living under my roof. Ever since you came back from Julian's house after ending that relationship, you have been sneaking in and out of this house like a pretty thief. Dad! And I will not condone this, your midnight escapades anymore. You must stop it. I will not allow you to be coming in and out anytime, especially this midnight escapades. Are you saying that I should move out? Well, you're not an adult. Do whatever you like. But all I know is that I will not allow this anymore. This will be the last time. Fine. Hear that? Oh, what now, Dad? Julian is a good man. You just lost a gem. Mm. I am also a good woman, and he lost a treasure. You can't expect me to marry a man who is about to die and make me a widow. You are not God. All he needed was your encouragement. You should go and get that from someone else. I am not interested. Please, oh, you should not use his reggae to spoil my blues. Dad, take a good look at me. I am a complete package. I deserve a strong, healthy, wealthy man. Not someone who is just sitting around waiting to be a skeleton. No, I'm not going to marry him. Okay? Good night. Oh. I actually do not know why he wants me to come with you, but let's just wait and see. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Hi. Hi. Hey, come, sir. Thank you, sir. Where's your scholarship? Scholarship! Jesus! Thank you, sir. 
Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, God bless you, sir. Thank you so much. My God, we bless you. Scholarship. This is the check for your first tuition. Ah! One million! Oh my God! Sir, thank you. Thank you so much. God will bless you. Oh my God! One million! Jesus! Thank you, man. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. My God! No, oh my God! Thank you! Thank you so much! It's okay. Oh no, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. It's okay. Stop crying! Thank you, sir. It's okay. Whatever you want, just name it. I'll be genie making all your wishes come through. Whatever they want, they can call me. I'll give the world to you if you want me to. There's nothing. What is the problem? I know you are praying, but you're crying. What's happening? It's nothing, Mom. I'm, I'm just not in the mood. I'm not happy. No, you can't say that. Tell me, what, what, what's going on? <sighs> Mommy, I just want you to join me pray for Julian. I don't want him to die. No, 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 no. Don't say that. He is not going to die. Are you hearing me? There is nothing God cannot do. Whatever you tell him in prayers, he answers. We will pray for your friend and he will be fine. Amen. What God cannot do does not exist. Let us pray for your friend. He will be fine. Our God is the God of all <laughs> possibilities. Yeah. Our Heavenly Father. We commit Julian, my daughter's friend, into your able hands. Lord, whatever is buying and selling in the life of that man, we command this storm to be over now in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Every evil clinical report against him, Father, we nullify it in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. We reverse them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let there be testimony Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Thank you, God Almighty, because you have answered these prayers. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, Julian. Oh, hello, Julian. Good morning, ma'am. This is Mr. Julian speaking. Okay. Where is Julian? I need to call my boss from the office this morning. I saw him in pain. And he refused to go to the hospital. I had to get his phone and I was looking for a number. I only just only a number I could reach him. Um Okay, you have access to his phone. Can you at least call his doctor? <sighs> okay. Uh, do you know his hospital? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'll be there right away.
Name. I want to shoot ma. Ah, my stomach has been disturbing since yesterday. I see it. But you will not cook, you won't clean, you won't do anything, but you want to go and poo? When I'm not eating, how dare you? Why didn't you cook anything in the house, you goat? I'm talking to you goat. Madam, my name not be goat. I be a human being, not call me goat. Did you just talk back at me? How dare you? Madam, what did I talk be say? I not be goat, I be a human being. You are a goat. You are a goat. Goat, goat, goat. Your mother is a goat. Your father is a goat. Your entire family members are goat. And how do you talk back at me? What did I do, sir? What did I just do? The room on the left. What are you doing here? I, I, I came to take you to the hospital. I'm fine. Julia, you're in pain. We need to go to the hospital. But I'm fine. <sighs> Listen, if you do not go to the hospital with me, you'll never see me again. Yes, go. Wait, wait, wait. What? Oh. I'll go with you to the hospital. I don't want to lose you. I need you in my life. I'm sorry. Whatever you want, just name it. I'll be genie making all your wishes come through. Whatever they want, they can call me. I'll give the world to you if you want me to. There's nothing. You. I feel better. I, I'm relieved. What really happened? The hospital have been trying to reach you. We contacted your secretary. She told us you left the country. Yeah, there's a reason for that. It's a long story. <clears throat> Doctor, he told me about his health condition and he's ready for treatment. I was wondering why he was discharged. Treatment? Yes, for liver cancer. He doesn't have liver cancer. I don't understand. What do you mean? You do not have liver cancer, Mr. Julian. That is the reason Dr. Mark has been trying to reach you several times. There was an error with your results. We had another patient that day that bears same name. And the lab test in charge missed the names. Oh, you have an allergy. That is the right result. Uh, 
Uh, Mr. Julian, you're allergic to peanuts, which led to your indigestion and stomach cramps. Doctor, are you saying he doesn't have liver cancer? No, ma'am, he doesn't. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> yes! <laughs> So sorry. Shut up. <clears throat> um, Mr. Julian, I'm very sorry for what the hospital must have put you through. Um, no, no, no. I like this mistake. Now, this is a perfect mistake because if it wasn't for that mistake, I wouldn't have found this amazing woman. So, thank you, doctor. Everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. Greet you. Be mine. I want you to be mine. Whatever you want, just name it. I'll be genie making all your wishes come through. Whatever they want, they can come. He's a miracle walking God, hallelujah. He's a miracle walking God, hallelujah. He's the Alpha and Omega. He's a miracle walking God, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Please Amen. Please my children. Thank Please you. Thank hey, you, God did it. Amen. He did it even before we asked for his mercy. Julian? It is my pleasure to finally meet you in person. It's my pleasure to meet you too, Mom. Ah, I am very happy for you. Thank you. My daughter told me that um, both of you are now together, yes. like <laughs> the latest couple in town. Mom! <laughs> Mom, let me express myself in peace. <laughs> Julian. Yes, Mom. Both of you look great together. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, my dear. Hey. Mm. Um, I am preparing something very delicious. Okay, Mom. So, make yourself comfortable. Feel at home. Let me go to the kitchen. I'll be right back. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. It's a miracle working God. Hallelujah. It's a miracle working God. Your mom likes me. Yeah, she does. <clears throat> I, I can't believe I'm about to say this. Say what? What, what do you want to say? I love you. I love you too. No. I love you more. <laughs> Hilda. See what you're not listening to my advice has cost you. I always told you to talk politely to people. But no. See, it has cost you and I. So if I did not send my driver to come the time that he came to pick something for me, only God knows what would have happened. Dad, is that all you have to say? So what else do you want me to say? Daddy, you have to find a solution to this, my one eye. I can't live with just an eye. You have to fly me abroad, please. I took you to the best hospital in Nigeria. And the best surgeons, the ones that operated on you, they said that nothing could be done for that eye. Mm. Eh? Thank God that you came did not target the other one too. <laughs> okay, what about him, Kim? What are you doing about her? Well, the police are still looking for her. When they catch her, she has to pay. She must pay. She will not get away with doing this to me. <laughs> My daddy. 
Merci les six to fly me abroad. Look at my eye. I look awful. Oh my god, daddy. I'm sure we will find a good hospital there. This country is filled with quack doctors anyway. What do they know? Daddy, please. Look at your princess. No man will ever love me like this. Not even not even the dying Julian. Please. Oh. You've not heard about Julia. He's dead? Jesus. He's crippled. <sighs> what happened? What are you doing here? I work here, ma'am. Please tell my baby that I'm around. Yes, ma'am. Hurry up! You haven't changed one bit. This is very ugly. Hilda! Baby! Hilda, what are you doing in my house by this time? This morning? What are you doing here? Baby. Stop. Stop it. What do you want? Um, my dad told me about your health. I came to say that I'm very happy for you. Oh, your dad told me about your eye. I'm very sad for you. Baby, I'm sorry. We can work things out. I know I said some things out of anger, but I didn't mean them. I'll just... You? What are you doing here? What is she doing here? She's mine. And I love her. No, you don't. It's yes. me you hey. love. What are you hey. doing in my man's house? Hey. Yuna, will you stop that nonsense? You don't know what you're talking about. Hilda, you're unstable. Now leave my house and go and get some help. You will not. Beauty. When I asked you to be mine, I did not mean a short period of time. I meant forever and ever for the rest of my life. I love you very much. I promise this is not how I planned this proposal to go. What proposal? What are you doing? The ring is not ready, but I promise it to be beautiful. It will never be ready. Marry me. <gasps> make me the happiest man. Be mine forever. Be mine forever. Let's make it official, please. No! Be my wife. Yes. No. No, you don't. I hate you. In all of my searching, a million rooms, let me write to you. In the strangest of places, love is waiting for me. And I can't imagine the joy that I found. Someone to share my world with. Was on the verge of giving it up. The love that I needed found me. 